Branston Academy First Class by me, James Barrett. It was the end of summer 2032 and Branston Academy for Zedders had just opened its doors to students at last. The first group of students had just arrived on campus and they couldn't wait to begin their years of academy training. Among them were the children of the core teaching staff. Professor Zella and Oliver Branston were the leaders of the Founders Committee as well as the headmistress and deputy headmaster of the school. Oliver was also the professor of their power honing and control class, and head of Branston House. Professor Jack O'Horn was treasurer of the Founders Committee, as well as professor of their public defence class, and head of O'Horn House. Professor Sophie Pollock was scribe, of the Founders Committee, as well as Professor of their Zeta History class, and Head of Pollock House. Professor Molly MacDonald was Dictator of the Founders Committee, as well as Professor of their Zeta Science class, and Head of MacDonald House. Professor, A Professor Ash Poole was Councillor of the Founders Committee, as well as Professor of their Sensing Trouble class, and Professor Leo Gaston was Proofer of the Founders Committee, as well as Professor of their Secret Identities Importance class. Once they had chosen members for their houses, they led their students to their house dormitories for the first time. In the Branston common room, Professor Oliver Branston was showing the boys to their dormitories, whilst his sister, Professor Ella, showed the girls to theirs. Oliver's daughter, Madison, was nervous about attending the school. Her power was Gillimor, which made her grow gills and went underwater, allowing her to breathe underwater. Ella's son, Julian, was on the other hand. Was feeling confident about it and tried to make Madison feel more confident. His power was legitimacy, which allowed him to see into other people's minds. Classes began the next morning at nine o'clock, and their first power honing and control lesson with Professor Oliver Branston was first on their timetables. He got each of them to get up and demonstrate their powers for the rest of the class, and teaching them how to hone their powers. Before his class ended, he demonstrated his power by stopping the clock for a second before putting it back to normal again. The bell rang and he dismissed them, but Madison stayed behind. Look sharp, Maddie. You don't want to be late for your first secret identity's importance lesson, he told her. Of course not, Dad. I was hoping for some advice, she replied. Oliver listened to his daughter's problem and advised her to try and ignore her discomfort and then sent her to her first C class with Professor Gaston, for which she was ten minutes late. She apologised for being late and sat between Gregory Jones and Raymond Green. Professor Gaston was going around the room asking what their powers were, and assigning them with secret code names based on their powers and what they allowed them to do. He arrived in front of Madison. Madison Branston, what's your power? he asked. I'm Gilamorphic, sir, she replied, which is the ability to breathe underwater by way of growing gills, he asked. 
Yes, sir, she replied. He took them out into the pool yard and had her demonstrated by going underwater for 30 seconds before getting her out to dry off and get dressed again. Once she was back to normal, he thought for a moment. Gilly girl, he said finally, before getting on with the lesson. Having just enough time to give them their first importance of secret identities lecture, After class, he kept Madison behind and told her he was going to let her off with a warning that she'd get a detention if she was late again before letting her proceed to her next class. One student, a boy named Sidney Collinson, whose power was creation, which obviously allowed him to create life, and had been assigned with the secret identity of the creator, which he thought was stupid, so started calling himself God, which offended the staff and students due to the blasphemous nature of it. This led the Branston siblings to call an emergency committee meeting to determine how to discipline Sydney before it got out of control and he abused his power by creating an army of evil soldiers. They summoned him to their office that Saturday for his disciplinary hearing, where questioned him about his behaviour, where they. You cannot use that name in this school. Professor Gaston scolded. Why not? It's my power, said Sidney. We know, but it's offensive for you to go around claiming to be God, Professor MacDonald scolded. But professors, Sidney began, but Professor Pollock addressed him. Sidney Collinson, as your head of house and scribe of Branston Academy Founders Committee, I have been forced to recommend you be expelled from this school, he scolded. You can't expel me, thundered Sidney. At this point, the headmistress, Professor Ella Branston, stood up. We can and will expel you if you don't cease using that blasphemous code name, she warned him. I'm not giving up the name. It suits me. I'm not giving up the name. It suits me, he said rudely. In that case, you leave us no choice but to approve the recommendation of Professor Pollock, Sidney Collinson, for your persistence to use an offensive code name and refusing to cease and desist using it. You are hereby expelled from Branston Academy for Zedders. Once we are done here, you are to go and pack your bags and be escorted off these premises she told him, banging the gavel, making the punishment official. So Sidney was escorted off the premises within the next hour, within the next half hour. He hadn't even lasted a month, and he'd already been expelled. This is no way to start a school for Zedders. It's only been a week. And we've already had to expel a student, said Oliver, shaking his head. And that was Branston Academy First Class. Yeah. Okay, don't know what the next story is going to be yet until I've written it. So until then, thanks for watching.